Hello and welcome to this new Feature Friday today. I'm pretty excited today because I have a very interesting guest with me and I'm very grateful that he took his time. Hi, Jit. Welcome and thanks for taking your time. Um, before I let you introduce yourself, I quickly want to tell everyone how we met and why you're here on the show today because Only a couple of months ago, we met in Chiang Mai at the Nomad Summit. Nomad Summit yeah. And uh, we actually had an interview while well, you interviewed me for your podcast. And yeah. um, it only makes sense that I now interview you because you, your story <laughs> is equally interesting. So uh, one leads yeah. to another. <laughs> and of yeah. course, we also want to hear about your digital nomads story but we are here to learn about social media marketing and so what I would like to do is that you maybe briefly introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and then later we talk about okay. business yeah that's perfect hey hi guys I'm Jitain Raswani I'm excited to be on your show like Julia thank you so much and we had a really great chat at Chiang Mai at Nomad Summit like it was real pleasure to meet you because we shared the like the common vibes, like we have a strong vibes, like, okay, we really want to help the digital nomad thing. Like we really want to help people. And I'm doing this business like uh, digital marketing and affiliate marketing from six years. And now I'm doing like digital nomading in Thailand, in Bangkok. Like I love this, like I love this country, like Thailand, like, and especially I love Bangkok. Love, like a lot of people hate Bangkok, but it's okay. Like I'm, I'm okay with the traffic. <laughs> and uh, I'm living my life, I'm hustling every day and I have a team of like 20 people who are doing work for me like into SEO, link building, email, content, like so this is my stuff I'm doing online like and I enjoy what I do. Like. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool stuff. And so you you said, you let's go to the beginning. You started off, you said, yeah. okay, India, I now will leave you and I want to do... Uh, start working remotely or how did you decide on becoming a digital nomad yeah because the reason i decided to become a digital nomad because uh, i was not enjoying the freedom in india like i want more freedom like where i can travel to the beaches and uh, i found like i have been to thailand like so many times like i attended so many events here about digital marketing and about making money online in Bangkok, especially, right? Yeah. So I have fell in love with this kind of like city. Oh my God, Bangkok is so good. Like the food is good. Like everything is so good here. Like I really want to be here. And I find the common set of people here, like, like the people who are sharing the strong positive vibes with me and they really want to help each other like grow in their business. So I find those kind of people here in Bangkok. So I decided to make a shift from India to Thailand, but I keep traveling. Uh, I just keep traveling to India because I have my own like offline office there. Like I have my in-house team about digital marketing agency. Like we are building our agency to like next level. I'm, I'm scaling with my co-founder right now, but I, fa I fall in love with Thailand right now. Like the food, like it's so good. Like everything is so good here. Like, like I love this place, but now the coronavirus is Everyone is so scared. Like it's it's making like everyone is crazy. Like everything is good here as long as as you are taking some precautions. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Absolutely. Like we just said, we could talk about this for hours, but let's not dip and uh, dive deep into, into corona. corona today. Yeah. <laughs> let's. Uh, I I'd like to hear a little bit more about your your journey. So, uh, because I know you use social media in order to yes. uh, promote your business and. But maybe in the beginnings, how did you start? How, what was your first steps when you said, okay, I want to earn money online? How did you really start? Okay, okay I started my first blog, that is Blogger's Ideas, where I started uh, like posting some content related to digital marketing, SEO, and social media. From there, uh, like I was reading, like I was doing the reverse engineering on my competitors, like Uh, like the guys who I follow and I was seeing like what kind of content they are posting on social media, right? So I was seeing, okay, they are posting interviews, they are posting this kind of helpful guides, how to start blogging, how to start social media business, how to make money online. So I was seeing like what kind of content people are sharing on social media and what kind of content people like on social media, right? So on my blog, I started doing this interview series. 
And this interview series, I started with social media expert, SEO experts, and digital marketing experts. And soon this interviews got like good traction from social media. I started sharing on like Reddit, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, wherever I can find some social media community. And I was sharing my interviews just to give some value, mm -hmm. not to promote my blog, just to give some value. So you need to always focus that you like just spent whenever you are sharing some content on social media, give some value to your people, right? Yeah. If you see like recent posts on my social media, I'm sharing a lot of interviews with you, Amanda, Grant Cardone, Neil Patel. So I'm doing a lot of all this stuff to give some value. If you give value to your audience on social media, so people will, will be happy to buy your training course or what kind of service you are selling to them, they will be happy to like invest money in you because you are giving some value. Mm. So when I started, when I started this social media thing, I started posting everywhere. Like I was distributing my content on LinkedIn, on Facebook, everywhere. Like the same video is going on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Facebook, because like on every social media platform, your audience is very different, right? Mm. So you might follow me on LinkedIn, but you don't follow me on Facebook. So if I post my video on Facebook, so you might see me, right? So there's a very high chance, like you will be happy to invest into my products, in, into my training, into my services, right? So you need to distribute your content. So like the distribution is a big game. Like Gary Vee is saying like, you need to distribute your content, right? So that's very important. I believe in this thing. And a lot of people are not doing it. They are not using social media very wisely. If you see my Facebook, uh, Facebook profile, like I have a picture with Neil Patel, Gary Vee, Grant Cardin. Why do I have pictures with them? Mm -hmm. To build trust, to build my brand, to, so people can invite me as a speaker. So that's the thing I have done right now in my social media. Yeah, absolutely. That makes totally sense. Um, and, yep. <laughs> and before you, I mean, after you started your blog then, uh, did you already have those digital contents or digital products? Like, or uh, what was your product that you, uh, uh, that you started to sell or that you are now selling? Like oh, computing or what is it? Okay. When I started my blog, uh, I was just posting some content on my blog related to my industry, like the like the things I know about my industry into digital marketing. I was sharing that content. Through that content, I was selling my like trainings and workshops. Like I was good in pe teaching people how to start a blog because when I started this blog, I was I got traffic, I got results. I was start I was making money like two thousand dollar a month from that blog. So I was I started giving some trainings and I I started doing some kind of workshops okay. to teach people how to make one thousand dollar a month, how to make uh, like how to make two thousand dollar a month from blogging, from freelancing. So I started doing all these things, and from that I started get a lot of traction. Uh -huh. So that's the thing I have done when I was starting out now own blog. So I know my strength, like, okay, I can teach people this thing. I can, I was betting on my strength. So that's the thing I have done it. And, and one thing maybe a little bit off topic, but can you share how you actually get those interviews? Like you, you just named a few of those celebrities, uh, in the, in uh -huh. the bench. How do you get Gary Vee to talk to you? <laughs> how do I, how do I got Gary Vee or Grant Cardone or Neil Patel? I met them at the events, just like I met you, right? Mm -hmm. So I met Neil Patel at the event, Affiliate World Asia in Bangkok, right? He was speaker there. So I just go to, go to him. Hey, Neil, I just, I'm a big fan. I follow you from, from the long time and you have changed my life, right? I was giving some value like Neil, because of you, I'm able to travel the world. I'm running my own business online. So Neil was really impressed, right? So he, he saw, okay, then I gave him my book. So that's my book funnel. So whenever I meet the, like the top notch speakers and the top notch internet marketers, I always give them my book. Like that's my funnel. Okay. Give them my book, have a, have a selfie, have a picture. Okay. And again, like next year, again, Neil Patel was there at Affiliate World Asia in Bangkok as a speaker again. Mm -hmm. So this time I say, Neil, I give you my book in two, in like previous year. Now I want to have your interview. He mm -hmm. say, okay, let's do it. So he was ready. And uh, so he, so I took his interview and how did I meet Grant Cardoon? If you see my recent video, right? Grant Cardoon is a, is a super big guy, like into real estate, right? He's, he's a godfather, right? So how did I meet him? I was in Las Vegas. So I 
I took the same hotel, like where he was living, right? Like, I know like Grand Cardon will be staying there, right? In Mandale Bay, in Las Vegas, because the event was there, I know. And that hotel was expensive. I say, let's book this hotel because if I, if I have to meet Grand Cardon, I have to be in the same place. Like if I want to meet Russell Branson, so I, ha I have to take the same location where the event is happening, like How the same hotel. How did you know where he stays? So, yeah. How did you know where he stays? Because he, he chose Mandale Bay as, a, as his event location. So I know he's going to stay there. And I was stalking him. I was stalking him on Instagram stories, oh. on his Facebook updates. Okay. Yeah, so that was, I was very smart. And uh, I was stalking. So how did I got his interview? So I was stalking him like in the evening time. I, I, on 18th of Feb, February, I reached on Las Vegas. Then I started stalking Grand Cardinal stories. Like he was posting updates. Like I'm here, I'm here, I'm here with my team. Okay. So I, I, I'm seeing like, okay, he's outside this restaurant. Now he's out, outside this place. So I was asking everyone, like near the security guards, everyone like the hotel receptionist. I, I asked that girl, like, did you see see this guy, Grand, Grand Cardo? They say, yeah, yeah, he has gone there, he has gone there. I say, okay. So like for two, three hours, I was tracking him. I was tracking him. Like I was talking very badly on, on social media, like yeah. on his Facebook story, on his Instagram story. And finally, he was coming outside. Oh, fuck. I said, oh my God, finally, Grand Cousin is there. Let's take out the video and let's do the interview. So, so like it was like two to three hours of hustle. And finally, I met him. So that is how I'm doing it. Yeah, people, that, that's also what can happen on social media. If you always constantly update your, your location, maybe one day someone will come up and say, hey, I want, I want your interview. <laughs> maybe yeah, yeah. Good. So I, I did this. So that was my strategy to, to get video with Grand Cargo. And with Gary Vee, like Gary with Manachuk, I, I flew from India to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And there, there was a rice conference in 2016. I think, yeah. And uh, and Gary, I, I took the media partner pass, right? I, I got the media partner pass and Gary was just in front of me. Okay. I said, fuck, he's here right now. So I have to take some video. I took out my video. Like, uh, I said, okay, let's have like a one question at least. I want to have one video with that guy. So um, he said, he said yes. And I give him my book. And this is how I'm meeting all those speakers. Like, so that's a way to like get the media pass stalk them on social media like if they're active like instagram stories facebook stories and you will be able to meet them okay so maybe as a piece of advice to um if you want to reach something you really need dedication right that's in general yeah. and especially with your business and uh don't be yes. shy and don't feel ashamed or embarrassed like it doesn't matter no Just so I was very shameless. So Grand Cousin said, man, you are very shameless. I like your attitude. Like you are, you are talking to me. You are not hesitating. I said, why should I hesitate? I, I especially flew from Bangkok to US just to meet you. I told Grand, I, I just, I, I, I don't came here to listen to all the speakers. I just came here to meet you, to be very honest. And he was very happy. I, I guess he liked that. <laughs> okay, yeah. awesome. So for, for yeah. people who are starting out now, they they're watching us now and saying okay um i also want to have a successful website or a, sell a product yeah. online uh what would be the first step to do like to to start a blog when i started my blog i started posting the content related to my industry and related to my experience like with, like the topics which i can talk about like i can talk about seo I can talk about link building. I can talk about digital marketing. So I was sharing my advice there on my blog and slowly, like I started building traffic organically from, from those, like from once the traffic got built up and I started getting some sponsor reviews on my blog. So, so a lot of companies, they outreach me. They saw, Hey, you have a nice blog. We want to have sponsor review on your blog. We have this WordPress theme. We have this social media tool and we want to pay you hundred dollar, $200 for a review. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, that's like, that's crazy. That's a good money. Like $200, $100 for a review. Mm -hmm. say, so I said, yes. Okay, let's do it. You give me the product access and I will do the review. So this is how I, I started getting some sponsor reviews and I started doing some kind of affiliate marketing, right? 
I started promoting some hostings, some VPNs on my blog, like some kind of softwares which are related to my industry, right? I started doing it and the, the number one thing I did, I did reverse engineering on my competitors. Reverse engineering. So I always say in this interview, like to everyone, like you have to reverse engineer on your competitors, what the heck they are doing on social media, on their blog, what the heck they are doing. So I was doing all this thing like, okay, this guy, he's my competitor. He's doing this. I can, I, I can do better than this. So this is how I, I, I was getting traffic. I was getting sponsor reviews. I, I was getting a lot of speaking deals. And this is, this is just you as a one man show in the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Only one man show. Then, then I hired two, three people from my blog for handling the content, making some backlinks, doing some SEO because I got busy into some other stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it, I was like one man show like in the beginning. Like, and I put like 16, 17 hours a day, like fully focused 16, 17 hours a day. I'm putting my hat down because my family, they didn't support me. Nobody ever supported me in my family, to be very honest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, awesome. I mean, I think that is uh, in most businesses in, in general, you have to invest some time or money. I mean, either if you already have money in the beginning, you can already outsource in the beginning. But I think also this hustling uh, on your own is a, is a big learning curve. Um, yes. You need to also understand and wrap your head around your business and once right. you own it and once you understand it, you can actually then uh, give it away to other people and lead them. Otherwise, I think, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's your I don't have the money that time. I don't have the money. Yeah. I have the time. I was investing my time because my job was very small. Like it was like, it, it, it didn't pay me enough to be very honest. I was making only $100 a month or two, $200 a month. Okay. In, in my job. So I was saving every single dollar to invest into my blog. So that's like, that is how I did it. Like, wow, yeah. if you ask me, that's it was a real struggle, but I love it. Yeah. And how long did it take? Uh, can you say again, until you really felt now my, the, your online business is uh, supporting you? Uh, at least like two, like I started this blog in 2013. So it took me like at least two years, at least two years to start making some good money, like $2,000 a month. Yeah. Okay. Are you comfortable? It was a lot of hard work. How yeah. much do you earn this, this year? I, I don't share my income, but uh, I am already making like six figure. Okay. And now the internet connection breaks off. Six figure. Six. I'm running this. Okay. Six figure yearly profits. Like I'm running this business right now. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Cool. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Very good. And um, if people want to reach out, they can find you on bloggersideas.com. Yes. And also you yeah. have a podcast, The Hustler's Brain Inside. Inside Hustler's Brain. Yeah. So definitely link to your, your uh, blog and, and your podcast in the show notes. Thank you. And, um, sure. If you have anything else to add, would you like to give any general advice? Something so like social media maybe? Right now, yes, I just want to give advice right now. People are very scared with the coronavirus. You don't have to be scared. You just need to be very precautious and invest your time into learning something new. Right now, you're working from home, right? So don't have another excuse like, hey, uh, this coronavirus. It's okay. It's okay. I know the things are not good, but you are sitting at the home. Try to learn something new. Like try to learn something like about how to make money online. If you, if you really don't like your job, start with learning something new, like side hustle, like invest some money into, into blogs, into YouTube, like the things you like right now. Mm -hmm. So in, like start investing your money. Don't waste your money into traveling. Just due to this coronavirus, if I was, doing my job and I really hate my job, I would have searched something online, like how to make money online through blogging, through YouTube, through Instagram, through Snapchat, through TikTok, to so learn something new. Like take, take this as an opportunity. Yeah, no excuses. Now we are all stuck at home but and we can invest our time into running our online businesses or growing them, yes. starting them. And yeah, it's yes. a great way to do it. Uh, via social media so awesome Jit this yeah. was very um, interesting and again congratulations <laughs> to your success and your story is really inspiring I hope people like it who are watching sure. and um, will follow your lead for everyone sure. 
who has a question, please post them and comment below the video. And this sure. will be for uh, our Future Friday episode this Friday. Thank you. Um, have a wonderful weekend, you all. Thanks again, Jit, for joining me. And I really appreciate it. Soon. Bye bye. Okay, take care.